What do you think is the number one reason for, for ads getting blocked and banned? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, complaints, you know, um, X out rates, um, low relevancy score, high bounce rate. I mean, if you have to think about it just in the terms of like, what are all the variables that Facebook has to consider about whether or not somebody's enjoying themselves or if they're having a bad time. And if you look at it from where Facebook's perspective is, if someone's having a bad time, then they're not going to come back. And Facebook measures their, you know, your lifetime value in your actual lifetime. Yeah. You know, like if they lose a user who's 30 years old, that, lo that loss is thousands of dollars for them over the course of their life. And they can see that data on a nearly real-time basis, I assume, because the average, you know, millennial spends, what is it, like four hours a day or something yeah, on Facebook, it, right? So it's, it's, uh, there's really corresponding data to see if somebody has a negative purchase uh, experience on Facebook that they disengage with the platform um, because a lot of people, especially like older people in their 50s and 60s, when they purchase a product on Facebook, they think they're maybe buying it from Facebook. It's not abundantly clear that it's not Facebook. Facebook is like the truest native platform that exists. You know, you've got ads between like pictures of your neighbor's kids and your, yeah. you know, nephew and, you know, your yeah. annoying aunt and all that kind of shit. Yeah. yeah. Your, your hockey team, we have our goalie just posts hockey team photos all the time and yeah, you, you don't want to be in there in the, with the wrong thing. No, um, and so like there's a real benefit to that. The reason that the platform converts highly is they've got great data and also people's walls are down. You know, yeah. you're, you're cruising through your feed. It's a very personal, intimate experience. You know, you've crafted that feed for you and if there's something in there that's jarring or that pisses you off, yeah. um, you might take action against that. So the, the question I have here is, uh, you, which one is this here? So, so it says, how much can affiliates get away with? But that's really not the right way to be thinking it's, about it. I mean, like, if you're trying to get away with stuff, you're not, that's like a pretty narrow, short-term thing. I mean, you, maybe you'll make 500 bucks that day or something, but like, don't you want to make a million bucks, you know, over the course of a little bit longer period of time? Yeah. Yeah, and it, it's, it's really easy. Like, so, you know, people say, well, can't you like tell us exactly what the policy is? How many... How many times can I say free? What's the, you know, maximum discount percentage? It's 50%. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what, you know, like things like that. Um, you know, what, you know, give me guidelines. And, and really, I mean, they don't want to tell people that because if they tell people, then you're going to cozy right up to the line. And they want people operating much more within the spirit. And I feel like I've been brainwashed at like Facebook camp or something. Uh, but really, these are the things that we've applied in our business and we've had a ton of success with them. So and how has your relationship evolved with, with Facebook? Like, I assume you're pretty, like, at the amount that you guys are spending now, you guys are just spending unbelievable amounts with them. Yeah. Like